Ten days of heavy battles in the Sumer direction. People are trying to escape from the war zone in any way they can, as the border with Russia is very close and Russian shelling does not stop even for a moment. But civilian cars are another target of the Russian invaders. Late on the evening of March the 5th, a convoy of Russian vehicles along the road near the village of Pustovitivka opened fire on civilians. It was a cab that was carrying a mother and her 17-year-old son. The cab driver died and the woman and her son are in the hospital. The head of the Sumer region also posted a video showing how people trying to leave in their cars simply left their cars and ran away because of the shelling. And their cars were simply spoiled by the Russian invaders. As invaders constantly break the ceasefire during evacuation, it is still impossible to safely leave Sumy, Okhtyrka and Trostyanets. Russian invaders hit residential areas of Chernihiv with unguided FAB 500 bombs. These are high explosive shells weighing half a ton and should be used exclusively against military and industrial targets. But three such bombs were found at the crash site of a Russian Su-34 bomber that had bombed Chernihiv in the north of Ukraine, not far from the Russian and Belarusian border. The bombs hit right in the ruined houses of the civilians. Luckily, the bombs didn't explode. Wreckage of such shells was also found at the spot of airstrikes in residential districts of Kharkiv. Kharkiv is on fire. The invaders once again shelled the city during the night. A large residential building caught fire. The city administration has not yet taken into account the cost of the damage caused to Kharkiv. After all, the invaders will not stop destroying infrastructure and civilians. Since the beginning of the war, almost 200 people have been killed in the Kharkiv region. 32 kids. So many little lives have already been taken by the war officially. The invaders are shelling the orphanages and hospitals. Medics are forced to operate on young patients in bomb shelters and women are forced to give birth in the subways. Ukraine asks NATO to close the sky to give Ukraine a chance to live in the future.